Tomorrow, local nonprofits are coming together to honor those who have come to the U.S. for a better life. There will be a naturalization ceremony at 11 tomorrow morning in St. Augustine. In the world, there are more than 21 million refugees. One of those joins us today, Nial Ko from Sudan originally. Yes. Now you've been here quite a while now. Thanks for coming on. Yes, you're welcome. Tell me a little first about your story, how you got here. It was in 99, is that right? Yes, I came here uh, late 1999 as refugees. Uh, my story started uh, uh, from Sudan. Mm -hmm. uh, we, were, we were displaced by the civil war that was going on in Sudan. And a lot of us fled the country. Uh, many of us, uh, which have become lost boy, ran south. And I fled north, and I was I became a refugee in Egypt. You went to Egypt, then after Egypt, where did, did you wind up to the states from there? Yeah, after the Egypt, uh, United Nations High Commission of Refugees has admitted us as uh, refugees, and then they start a process of resettlement, which is uh, a few who are lucky would be resettled in a uh, host country like United States or Canada. You say a few. Does not everyone make it? Less than one percent. Oh, really? It's that small? Mo most of the refugees, 99% will be getting a protection, but a few of them will, who are very fortunate and lucky will have a resettlement. So why is the naturalization ceremony, from your experience, so important tomorrow to have these more refugees coming in? Naturalization is so important because it's a transitional time. Mm -hmm. People come from a uh, war-broken country, mm -hmm. uh, displaced, left everything and come back here and build a dream and become part of new society, become part of the, uh, this country. That's why the naturalization ceremony is a very, very important event for the life of refugee because it's a life of transition. Have you followed any of the debate on refugees in America over the last few years? Yes, I did follow. Has that been hard to watch? It, it's difficult to watch, but uh, you can say it can be important uh, debate. Everybody have their point. Sure. Uh, the people who are opposing, they have their point of uh, ne making new, new major and keeping people in America safe. As far as the transition into American life, because you're obviously coming through um, what I'm assuming was a horrific situation for yes. you in Sudan. Yes. How, is that difficult, or do uh, the, the organizations that help you with this, do they help you get settled in the United States? The organization who are helping refugees, they're doing an amazing job. Jacksonville have three uh, offices, which is mm -hmm. Lutheran Social Services, Catholic Charity, and World Relief. And without those uh, organizations, uh, it, it is so difficult for refugees to establish and start a new life in America. Were you able to find a job, or what was that like when you got to Jacksonville? When I got in Jacksonville, it was uh, around 2000. The job wasn't difficult as today. Mm -hmm. But uh, they do help us find a job. There's a lot of uh, uh, employment temps agents who can be able to, to help, and we go there and register. Lutheran Social Services has provided a big employment for the refugees, and they're doing an amazing job. So tomorrow we'll have some naturalization ceremonies. What's it like for these people when they finally get to this point? Is it very exciting for them? It is amazing and overwhelming, you know, to, to change. Uh, the thing that this, this country, United States, uh, provided refugees with safety. And for us to become part of it is really overwhelming. And so I want to confirm, we've got one tomorrow at 11 in St. Augustine, then the one you told me about at the main library downtown in Jacksonville tomorrow at 11. Yes, well. yes, we invited everyone to come out and, <laughs> and participate to see the, 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 citizen, the citizenship ceremony and the uh, celebration of World Refugee Day. This, this day is so important and significant to the refugees sure. because we commemorate and remember families, children, millions who have been displaced and millions who are struggle. And to honor their courage, sure. to honor their strength, that they have resilient in face of violent war. Thank you, Neil Kof, for coming you are on. Better I appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, if you want to learn more about this, we'll post this interview and some more details at newsforjax.com. Just look under the Morning Show page.